Hello there guys, my name is Coach Star Dogs the Ball, but both theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update. This from Plop Slime Japan. I had to pre-warn you, we've got lots of videos to come this weekend and into next week as well. We've got loads of news updates ranging from everything. We've got a YouTube link in the description down below of this video. Uh, we've got speculation, we've got rumours, we've got confirmed information, we've got new concept arts from the likes of Plopsaland, Cedar Point, Drayton Manor. We've got some construction updates from Plopsaland Japan as well. We've also got construction updates from Flamingoland's 10 Looping Coaster to come. It is all coming and wow. We got so we got a lot. Let's just say we got a lot of new stories now. Please keep subscribing to the channel. We're almost, we're nearly there. We're almost at 1,300 subs before the end of the year. Please let me get to that number before the end of the year. It's absolutely vital. Please, um, especially with so many videos coming out this weekend. There's no better time than to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you loved it as well. Comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I always reply to every single comment. You know I do. And now let's get zoom into the video. This first video, this very first video. I'm doing this separate to the other future investments of Pop Sunday Pan because it deserves its own video. This is the Extreme Spinning Coaster coming to the park in 2021. Now we do now. Uh, my friend from Instagram. Um, Plops up updates. Who's been sending me construction updates of this spinning coaster? Uh, he was at. He's at the presentation, and he sent me lo loads of stuff from Holiday Park, Marjolan Kaunati, Plops Land de Pan. He's sending me lots of stuff. So we've got loads of uh, separate videos for those parks uh, to talk about as well. But in this video, we're focusing on Plops Land de Pan and specifically the Extreme Spinning Coaster. Now. This, uh, I'm going to put the POV link in the description down below, and while I'm talking about um, the, you know, the, the, the sort of layout details, I'm going to share with you a concept image for the station on your screen now. Find a bit Aussie. look at that concept image, doesn't it look fantastic? Um, now, honestly, I I'm just really excited for this overall. I think this is going to be a really br good project. Uh, I think that the park is going to do an incredible job. Uh, and like I said, really can't wait. Uh, so let's move into then some layout details. Now this is for the spinning coaster. This is for specifically. So I looked at the POV link. Make sure you click the link in the description down below. Uh, and basically, this is the order of elements for the coaster. So it starts out with a curved JoJo rope. Sorry, out of the station. Now this is the first extreme spinning coaster to have this JoJo roll at the station. Obviously, you've seen JoJo rolls to a penny nearly everywhere. Uh, you've got one on Hydra the Revenge, which is the flawless coaster at Dorney Park. Uh, you've got one on Copperhead Strike, which is a Mac launch coaster over at Carowinds that opened this year in 2019, one of 2019's big investments. Um, and this is the first extreme spinning coaster to have this element in the world. So uh, they're going for a record breaker, this one. Um, you've also got the first launch straight after that. In, and it inclines into an outside banked turn. Now that's a pretty cool element. Going into a cliffhanger drop before entering a banana roll. Now a banana roll is a very good element as well. It's a very, very cool element. Uh, and like I said, I'm really excited about that element myself. Moving into a vertical loop before entering a zero G roll. Two back-to-back -back inversions. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, you've also got, you, you then turn right into a tw tw twisted airtime hill. So if you don't know what that is, basically, a you twist one way and then you twist the other way, so very nice there. Uh, then you move into the second launch, which is a pop-up hill type launch, so you sort of dip down and up with the launch cable still on, so that's kind of like a copperhead strike second launch. Uh, then you've got a double inverting dive loop, now this is a very interesting element, I'll see what uh, the right experience would be like with that kind of uh, double inverting dive loop, but I've looked at it in the POV and it looks fantastic. Uh, then you do like a, a yeah, do an airtime hill before turning left. Do you go into like a dive? So it's like a dive type turn. Uh, then a then a couple pop up airtimes before the final break run. So that's the official elements list for this new extreme spinning coaster layout. Like I said, personally, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait for it. It's going to be one of my favourite, if not the favourite, investments of 2021 so far. Obviously, we've still got lots to come. We've already got lots already in. You know. Um, you know, you've got Chessington's Drop Tower, you've got 
Um, you know, plenty of other stuff in Europe. Grona Lund's Inverted Coaster. You've got the Tron Coaster at Magic Kingdom. Uh, you've got Europa Park possibly getting one in 2021, maybe 2022. Um, you know, plenty of stuff still to be confirmed, but, um, you know, all around the world, 2021 could be a really good year, just like next year's going to be. So overall then, I'm really excited about this layout. I hope you guys are really excited about this layout as well. Make sure you like this video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts on the layout, and subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Chow, Kill it with the Coastal Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.